This happens to be um, YouTube, so I'm just streaming streaming live on YouTube. <laughs> and if so, you want if you want to be on TV, just yell. <laughs> <laughs> Should I turn around so they can all see my class? Come on, I'll do that later. Um, I want to go back to the the file cabinet concept and and flesh that out. We're going to talk particularly about faces at the moment. Now, I, I want to make sure you understand this. I'm using faces as an example, not because I expect you all to go out and become portrait painters. If you want to, yay, that's great. But I'm using faces because faces are the hardest thing. So if you can get this concept applied with, with faces, then you can draw, if you draw face, you can draw anything. You can draw a barn, if you draw face, um, you, you can draw anything. So I just pulled this guy out of my filing cabinet, no, 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 out of my literal filing cabinet. I want one. <laughs> can I have one in my filing cabinet? <laughs> um, and use him as, as an example um, to talk about what you should be, your inner dialogue, your inner talking, what it should be, and most especially what it should not be. Again, we're gonna use a face, but this applies to anything. So let's, uh, let's use, in fact, a, very, a, a real example from, I was teaching in our class many years ago on the coast somewhere, and I pulled out the picture that we were all gonna paint and handed it out, and one of the ladies in the class said, that's the one thing I just can't draw, boats. <laughs> and for some reason, she was so cute. It was so funny. It just always stuck with me. So, what's wrong with that statement? <laughs> she's she's referring to her filing cabinet. She's not referring to her ability to see what her eyes are pointed at. That wasn't even in the question for her. I'm not going to do that. And by the way, <laughs> while I'm on this subject. Oh, here's a boat here. This is not the one that I've done, but you, you would be amazed. Now, when I'm when I'm teaching, like here with you guys, I keep my nice, happy poker face, teacher face on, and no matter how outrageous anything you all may say, I'm going to smile <laughs> and say, "That's a good question." It's terrible, isn't it? No, but we know it. We've been in school yeah, long enough. Right, exactly. But I, I literally, well, there was one time it wasn't this, but it was a picture of a of a fishing boat, industrial working fishing boat in Beaufort or somewhere with a, with all the big green nets hanging from this outrigging and goodness knows, I don't know what all, it's got, just got like a forest of things sticking up in the air and it's all got rust dripping down on the side. The bottom of the boat is red and the top is used to be white and it's all, you know, it's just really interesting. I've painted that several times and I've had people, uh, I'm not kidding, literally in my class <laughs> <laughs> Paint that. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you tell me what's happening when somebody does that. What is what is occurring? They are not looking with their eyes at all. And I want to make this clear. Why are they not looking with their eyes? Because that takes work, doggone it. And we just we just took this class for fun. <laughs> we didn't want to have to work. <laughs> so I've had that kind of thing happen several. One time it was a picture of mountains, you know, beautiful National Geographic, dramatic, you know, whatever. and somebody came back with a, you know, <laughs> candy cane or whatever, mountain with a little whipped cream on the top. Mm -hmm. And I smiled and said, That's good. Now let's see what we <laughs> anyway. Um so, you don't, when you have to draw anything complicated, there are some, you can help yourself by not saying certain words. Now, if this, is the, if this was the rest of the day, we were going to paint this man's face. There are certain words that you do not want popping. You try to, you know, it's, a, it's sure, it's a, it's a sitcom moment. You know, don't let that word, don't let that word, not like come out of your mouth, don't even go in your head. You know what some of the words are? No, I yeah, eyes. exactly. Yes. Nose, eye, lips, cheek, head, face, man, hair, you name it. No anatomical references whatsoever. Why? Because as soon as you say nose, what happens? You go to your filing cabinet. Your filing cabinet flies open, punches you in the gut, 
and up flies boing, 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 nose did you say nose you know what a nose looks like boing, 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 boing. and there's a nose <laughs> so you don't even want to entertain those words instead you want to start naming shapes now this is really funny you can name it anything you want except nose why because again if you say nose that'll come up um, so look at this. Let's, you don't, let's, we don't have to, let, we don't have to limit ourselves to his nose. Let's tell, start start naming for me shapes. Now there, I'll go. Okay, there's two categories of shapes. One is geometric shapes. Trapezoid. Trapezoid. Somebody said trapezoid earlier. So if you know what a trapezoid is, yay! Yay! <laughs> parallelogram even less helpful, but if you know what a parallelogram <laughs> is, good for you. Isosceles, do you remember these words? We're all going back to 10th grade, going back to 10th grade geometry. Circle, circle's good, ovals, okay. Um, square, triangle, trapezoid. Okay, those will help you a little bit, I mean, whenever they show up. So there's the, the geometric shapes that you can name, but here's, there's a whole, here's, ironically, the proper use of your filing cabinet. You can actually use your filing cabinet to draw better, but you're not looking for it, nose, eye, cheek, eyebrow, whatever it is. You look at something here. Now that's so good. I'm going to play the game with you right here. I mean, I mean, obviously, the, 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 we're we are so struck by this white shape, aren't we? It's like, oh, 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 that's really jumping off the page. But we don't have to start there. Um, oh, I see a shark's a dorsal fin from a shark. It's right here. It's this dark shape right here. Okay. Now I might modify it slightly and say, well, it's a little bit. It's it's a really it's a sharp dorsal fin. Good enough. So I want you to understand what I just did is I I got the left side of my brain going, hmm, dorsal fin of shark. Oh, yeah, but really kind of a sharp pointy one. So I can draw that pretty accurately. because so I used my filing cabinet. Um, but if we started drawing this guy's face with that little shape, <laughs> what's the rule we would be violating first? Where's that thing? It's right here. Small. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> simple to complex, large to small. Oh, doggone it. We should probably be looking for large shapes first, right? Oh boy. Okay, so large shape, and what's the one we can't say? Head or face. That doesn't help us much, but we are looking for large shapes. So can we can we find any large shapes here? I mean, okay, oh boy, does anybody feel overwhelmed? Like okay, curve. Yeah, that doesn't help much. Bent out horseshoe. Yeah, bent out horseshoe. That's better. Bent out horseshoe. So you're looking at from from here to here, right? That's not bad. Um, Man, that's a hard one. That's a hard place to start. You could, you could say oval. Or if you stop at the line down from his lip, it's, it's an egg. We're here? Egg. No, the other, the other lip. That one. If you stop right there, then the edge of his face is like an egg shape. Here? Other, other side. Other side. Okay, good. That's I like that better. An egg shape. That's the right. I think that's a good way to think. Instead of trying to bite off the whole thing, we do want to start large. But the large thing is just like too much. It's too much. So you start dividing it up. Maybe if we now if we just arbitrarily cut his face in half, you can do that mentally, can't you? Just this. And if you had, if this was on a paper in front of you, you could actually take a ruler and, and draw a line out. down the middle. You could and grid it out. That's right. You do a grid. Um, do we get any help? Um, not much. I see a one very large shape. That, that is not is, is it, it might be almost big enough to well let's let's back up a little bit anytime you're drawing a face almost any time you're drawing a face you're almost always helped by doing the the latitude longitude uh -huh. latitude right the latitudinal line across the eyes so you can say well let's just let's just start I'm putting them real low on this page because I've got scribbles up here let's say that's his eyes that's often a good a good way to start and then another good way to start is say well let's bisect his face longitudinally yeah. 
in almost every art book you pick up. Now, is his face pointed straight at us? It is not. He's tilted slightly to the left, right? So that means you know from previous learning or from observation that the, the uh, longitudinal line on his face is slightly curved. Just slightly. Okay? So, whew, that helps. Now, again, so we're, that's, that's very similar to what, what we were doing a while ago when I said, what are the two biggest shapes you see? Because you, you supplied this line from here to here, right? And from there to there, as a, so you got two triangles. We're kind of doing a similar thing here by saying, okay, well, let's use his eyes as, as a shape. And we're just going to say there's a line straight across. As far as I can tell, he's, well, is he level? No, he's not, is he? Okay, I think, luckily, I did mine slightly, so it's just slightly off level, don't you think? Yeah. Right eye slightly lower than his left? Yeah. Head at a slight angle. So that, that helps. Now we're, we're off, we're off to a little bit better start. Now, if you've studied, you know, Jack Loomis's, I mean, <laughs> Andrew Loomis's How to Draw a Face and so on, then you have all these division marks you can do, like, which, and not just him, but anybody. All the, you know, well, the, the nose is probably here, the mouth is, the mouth is probably here, chin's here, and the eyebrows are here, and the hairline's there. Blah, 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 blah. You can do that. So that might help. That's previous learning. That does help, as a matter of fact. But if you don't know all that, then you don't have that to your disposal. So then you're just back to looking for major shapes. Um, there is one of the biggest shapes that I see besides that would help us is this shape right here. Yeah. This I, it's kind of abstract here, but if we make it just straight, yeah, it's, it's a it's a triangle. Um, it's a rectangle bent at the bottom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is exactly the right kind of language, as long as you know. And let me try to model for you how most of us, when we try to draw on the fly, so to speak, just wing it. Our brain is over here looking, and by the way, it's the right side of our not the language, not the linguistic side of our brain, just the looking side of our brain. We look at that face and we go, because there's no language on this side of the brain. So it's just, and we look and we study. Let's like say, let's zoom in on this nostril, and we're looking, looking, looking. If we don't say a word, if we don't come up with a word in our brain. Then, by the, the with, from the time that it takes for our eye to go from that picture to our canvas, we've lost it already. Have you experienced that? Like, doggone! I thought I knew exactly what I was looking at, but now when I come over here, um, what was that again? And so, what you have to do is name it. Now, let's let's talk about his nostril. You could say, well, if this is the middle of the clock, you, you can make the middle of the clock either either end. Let's make this the middle of the clock. Then you can say, well, it's an angle pointing at about 10 minutes before the hour. Whew. Okay, so now at least you can reproduce that because that's, whew, that's 10 minutes before the hour. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Now, this might sound really laborious to you. Uh, first of all, I'm stretching it way out, so it doesn't have to be quite this slow. You, you can't condense it. But that's the difference between people who can draw really well and those who can't, is the laboriousness of it. Those who can't draw, they try to wing it, all operating completely, as I say, on the right side of their brain, just the intuitive, no language, um, whereas you have to be able to name these things. And of course, back, again, back to this nostril, what's the shape? Um, well, it's kind of a triangle, an angle, and the top of it is curved. Um, there's something that's there's something that's that shape. Yeah, kind of a dart. A dart. Yeah, it, so all of those words work. I love it. I love all that. You're doing the right thing. Um, a funny one. I'm not. I don't see it here, but a funny one. I, this an example comes to my mind. I use a lot. Um, I see. I, I'll see something and say, "Ooh, it looks like the Rock of Gibraltar." Uh -huh. Well, how many of you would that help you any? <laughs> There's a few. I think it, there was some prudential and in, some insurance. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was something that somewhere in my childhood that locked the shape of the Rock of Gibraltar in my mind. So that that's only because it's in my file. If that's not in your file, it doesn't help you at all. Make sense? 
but it is in my file. And by the way, right or wrong, it doesn't matter whether my impression of the Rock of Gibraltar is correct. Um, which way, which way does it, it go? You know what it looks like for you. Yeah, that, that, and it doesn't matter whether I'm right or wrong. And I think I'm wrong, but that doesn't matter. That's, that's what it looks like to me, so I can use that shape. So you actually have thousands, tens of thousands of shapes in your filing cabinet that can help you with this. That's what you use your filing cabinet for. Now, little by little, as you become a better and better artist, your filing cabinet gets switched over from what I'm calling a filing cabinet to a reference file. So like once you've drawn a squirrel or two or three, literally drawn real carefully, not a cartoon, but a real careful squirrel, <laughs> for the rest of your life, you have a, a really good squirrel. It's not no longer a file cabinet, it's a reference file. You actually know what a squirrel looks like, okay? So little by little, it gets transformed over. So I have, as a professional artist for many years, my, you know, my reference file is pretty big because I've drawn almost everything, <laughs> at least once. That, I'm sure that's an exaggeration. Okay, I don't know if we need to do this exercise. I hope it sounds like fun to you. It's kind of, they treat it like a game and you have to name every shape. Now again, there, there is also the, you know, learn the, learn the basic divider marks, blah, blah, blah. That's just book learning and it's real helpful. Um, uh, but but that, that does help. But still, the, the basic thing is looking for shapes. Anybody see any that you've just been dying to tell us on this face? Like, ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. <laughs> just the place Sandra. and the perspective. The exact planes on that face. The exact I mean, planes. I mean, the planes that go back and That's right. That, the planes that go here. That's right. Go here. Right. You know, but it's a good face. That, yeah, that's, that's probably why that I picked is, it yeah. out of, yeah. I think it's out of National yeah. Geographic. <laughs> and I found it and I use it, yeah, for that reason. Uh, but along those lines, um, the hardest people to draw are really beautiful people because mm -hmm. they don't have any features. <laughs> and believe it or not, beautiful people are average. That sounds so funny, doesn't it? <laughs> Mathematically average. If you, I don't, just Google that. Just huh. Google mathematic beautiful faces are average. And the thing is, lighting makes such a big difference on yeah. the faces. Because if you take a Olin Mills portrait where they have the umbrellas and stuff like right. my children, there's there's not there's nothing to <laughs> nothing there's to no hang. Shape that's right. There's out. no shapes. Exactly. So yeah. Exactly. I, right. But this is one of the best things you ever taught me. Oh, good. <laughs> shapes. Good. Does that make sense? Should we stop there? Should we do a little more? Yeah, do a little more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, have, we do have time for lunch. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this.